Absolutely nobody likes Neon. Neon is an IRL streamer who got his start by doing a bunch of degenerate things. He faked his own death on YouTube, which pretty much shows how much of a clout hungry goblin this guy actually is. There are literally a million clips of this guy just harassing people in public. He's pretty much like that Jack Doherty guy. But I wanted to start off with this video where Neon is dressed as Santa Claus and essentially he just starts making fun of this kid's dad for working at Walmart. Neon receiving backlash for laughing Laughing at Walmart employment. Bum do for work. He's a correctional officer. Oh shit. Nice. What did your dad do for work? Oh, 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 he works at a Walmart warehouse. No, 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 I'm such a bad guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What an absolute degenerate. Yeah, call him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come up. Oh my god. I want to change his life. I want to give him some bread. No, it's not that chat. Stop. Um, can, can you call him up real quick? I just want to talk to him. Uh, oh, I'm sure he'd love to talk to you, dude. Notice how absolutely nobody in the clip was laughing except for Neon. Like, he thought it was absolutely hilarious that somebody works at Walmart. Yes, he, he works a, a job to provide for his family. Are you fucking stupid? You probably aren't even competent enough to stack the shelves at Walmart, dude. Like, it's not an astrophysicist job or something like that, but it's still a job to be respected. Like, he's putting in the hours, he's putting in the work to provide for his family and kids. Isn't that something to be respected for? Dude's not 19 and looks 14 and he's gonna laugh at someone for providing for his kids the dad after finding neon I, I don't think I can play the invincible clip of uh, Omni-Man pounding his son, but all right classic neon L It's time to make somebody else famous I will never forgive the internet for making these types of people uh, have an audience because what he does for work is so honorable Yeah, dancing dancing to the tune of a bunch of clowns in your chat I wouldn't accept anything from anyone who disrespects my pops like that you talk shit to the wrong guy You're getting punched in the face dude now obviously his brain dead fan base will always find a way to justify things. Show the part where you gave him $2,000 worth of stuff after y'all be making him look bad. So if I go laugh at a homeless person's face, but give them $10 after, it's okay because I gave him money, but laughed at him and disrespecting him. It's the same thing as those prank videos where you like screw with somebody and like give them emotional trauma or something. And then after that, you give them some money and it's okay with it. Like you can't get away with dis disrespecting people and then throwing money in the face. Like the equivalent comparison here is rice gum raining money on homeless people. Like he's obviously humiliated them, but giving them something they need uh, that as in being money, but that doesn't make it okay. Well, actually, he wasn't laughing at him. You didn't see the full clip. Like, how tightly are you gripped on his dude. Oh my god. Now, another drama that took place around last week was Neon actually getting some real-world consequences for his actions. Basically, he went on a stream and he was talking shit, saying that he'd do this to Donald Trump. He said he'd talk shit or whatever, but he also said he doesn't care about the bodyguards or secret service as if this pipsqueak is actually gonna do anything there, but it, it was sort of implied threatening him because even a pipsqueak can carry a gun. So, obviously, he got banned from the UFC for threatening a former president, and then he throws a fit about it and acts all surprised. Is I'm gonna walk up, um, you know, I'm gonna talk my shit to Trump, and then um, it's gonna be a very good experience. And I'm gonna talk my shit. I don't care if the Secret Service is there. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna talk shit. So. Neon's not allowed in. What? They use. They dropped your name specifically. Huh? They just dropped your name specifically, bro. They said Neon is not allowed in. In the stadium? Yes. What? What? I'm so surprised. You're a moron. Perfect. Thank you. Also, great company here. We got Sneeko. Amazing. What the hell? I'm not allowed. Another just intelligent being. So now I need to talk to them about refunding the damn money. Hold on, no, no, no. There's no fucking way. No, no, you stay your ass in the car. Wow, I actually threatened uh, a former president, and the event organizers took it seriously. This is so shocking, guys. Neon weighs like 90 pounds. Is like five feet. What is he actually gonna do to him? Now, after that, Dana White actually responded as well. Dana White cooks Neon for threatening Donald Trump. There's a popular streamer online called Neon. And he yeah. said he was a banned from the arena tonight, specifically by... He by said he was banned from the arena? No, what happened is he, he said some stupid shit on Instagram and, uh, you know, he, he bought tickets so he wasn't anywhere close. When you start saying stupid shit like that, yeah, you're probably going to get busted up and thrown out of here, you know, making threats. And talking dumb shit. I actually wish they let him come into the arena. I wanted to see what, what talking shit he would actually do in front of people who are actually bigger than him. Like, this is the UFC here. I mean, I, I would love to see him just get pummeled in the face, but sort of unfortunate. Shit. 
looking for clout. I believe he said he was going to confront. I don't care what he said. I think he said he was going to confront Donald Trump. Is what he I don't said. care what he said. Did he? Well, he wasn't able to. He's just f***ing tall, too. You know that? F***ing <laughs> punk. Yeah, nice Dana, you're right. I mean, what can I say? You managed to piss off Dana White. Now, probably the most pathetic thing about Neon is that he can never take accountability. He can never apologize for any of his mistakes. Instead, he, he sends out his manager, like a little dog over here, putting out a apology tweet. Out of respect for the whole UFC, Dana White, blah, blah, blah. Last night, my client's actions were unacceptable, and I'd like to formally apologize to anyone that was disrespected. Last night was the final straw. No more disrespectful trolling. That's probably the biggest lie you could have possibly made. Now this this guy, I think he he had like a Discord message or something. I can't find it right now, but it was like, oh yeah, like I think Neon got confronted or something, and basically they're like, I can't believe you guys didn't stand up for Neon. You're out of the team. And it's like, who's gonna stand up for this absolute insufferable moron here, man? God damn. He's actually hitting a tweet here by Natalie Reynolds. Buddy, you work for him, he isn't your client. By the way, I gotta make a video on her as well. Oh my god. There's just a, a chain of absolute insufferable morons on the internet right now. It's free real estate for commentary channels, I gotta say. Here's another clip of Neon getting roasted by Baby Alien. Can you see? Can I what? Can you see? Can I see? Yeah. Can you see? I mean, I, yeah, you definitely can see your f eyes pop out of your head. Yeah, why are you wearing glasses? Um, because... You can definitely hear, because I'm ears popping out your head. How yeah. are you gonna say that when your ears look stupider than mine? Are you f dumb? They straight. They're not like sticking out like this, boy. You look like Dumbo <laughs> head ass. You know, don't make me get on your head, Jit. Call me a Jit again, see what happens. Hey, mother Oh, I'm like, uh, oh. What's up? Just what's up? Yeah, what's up, bro? What the f I don't fight, but hey. What an actual clown fest. I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. Now, I found it really funny. This has nothing to do with the lore of Neon or the story or whatever, but Neon just talks about how he's sick, and uh, just wait till you read the comment section of this. You guys want to update? I'm going to give you guys an update. I am sick as shit. I've been waking up sick every day the past three, four weeks, but there's just some days where I can't push through it. I have a fever. I'm sick as f by the way, in general, nobody believes him because he's cried wolf so many times. Like, he faked his flipping death, man. He made tons of videos when he was smaller. Like, granted, that was when he was smaller, but he's not really changed that much. Try, I try to get up. I'd argue he's become worse. And if you guys don't understand that and you can't understand, I don't know what to say. I know the reason, too. It's because my shots, because my stomach disease, there's literally absolutely nothing I can do. I have to take shots every week. There's no workarounds. I tried everything. There's nothing else I can do. I have to take them. And it brings my immune system down and it fucks me up bad. It is what it is. I'll be live tomorrow. And if you guys actually, you know, care at all, maybe just, you know, a quick prayer would be nice, you know? But it is what it is. I've been to the hospital so many times these past four weeks. I just want to fucking feel better so I can stream for y'all. You'd think people would have sympathy for this. Oh my God, a guy's going through so many issues. Let's look at the comment section. We do not care. No one cares about Neon. Nobody feels pity for this. Man, how is this dude famous? Praying for a terrible recovery and then he gets a serious disease. I hope the next update is from the morgue. I can't lie. This is the same situation with Jack Doherty where you've pissed off the internet to the point where they couldn't give a rat ass if you literally died off the face of the planet this is insane also yeah bro gets sick every other day they're like i don't know how much of this i can believe you know now neon is constantly bullshitting his audience as well he says he'll retire for streaming to become a doctor i'm a bot paid by kane yo these allegations are annoying as fuck bro you know what bro i'm better to just stop showing my face on the internet bro i'm done totally believe you dude starting 2024 i retire I will not be showing my face on the internet anymore. I'm gonna be what I was destined to be, a doctor. I'm over this shit, and I appreciate everyone who stuck with me. I'm over it, I'm done. You guys got what you wanted. Yeah, that's totally real, and everybody believes you for this. Imagine this is your doctor, ain't no way, bro. I'd unplug the life support at that point. Now, I wanted to talk about his relationship as well. Basically, he's uh, his girlfriend is named Sam Frank, who is sort of OnlyFans girl. I don't know if she only does Instagram or whatever. I don't know. Don't really care. But basically, Neon will go on all these, like, podcasts in different places, and he'll go right up to these OnlyFans girls and basically, like, brutally tell them, like, some horrible shit to their face. When they respond saying that, hey, your, your girlfriend sort of does the same shit, he has some weird defense mechanism that justifies it the way she does it or something. So he's a massive hypocrite there. And also, uh, a lot of people think that his girlfriend is like using him or something for clout. And he's maybe being delusional that he doesn't see that. I don't know. I haven't investigated their relationship. Now, here's a clip from the Fresh and Fit podcast. I'm not going to play it because these guys have been known to like copy strike people as well. And they're just degenerate people in general. Don't want to play this. I think the only thing we can agree on over here 
here is that Neon is a absolute degenerate and nobody respects him. He's likely being used by everybody around him and he's probably using them as well. Now I think people are finally realizing how much of a fraud and a fake person this guy actually is and I feel like his downfall is just imminent at this point. Now Kick also has this sort of open secret where all the streamers are essentially being botted. I don't know if they're doing it themselves or the platform is doing it for them or they've hired people to do it. Basically I highly doubt that Neon is getting a hundred thousand viewers per stream. It's more like 10 to 20k or something and the rest of them are being botted. Here we got Drama Alert with the cringe tweets as always. Neon caught, uh, caught view botting. This is fine. Just the question marks and the emojis. Dude, you're a grown man. What the hell? And if you look at all these bots over Paul, here. I'll make sure what I'm doing is fine. It's, it's so clearly like yeah. fake. Put on emote only, bro. This f***ing chat's insane. What? Oh yeah, th th this chat is absolutely insane. Even Neon's brain dead fans are calling him out over here. Neon's not beating these allegations. Neon right now, this is a very weird picture. All right. Bro, who cares about this loser? And I think I'm done caring about him as well. That'll be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Click this video and I'll see you guys later. Maybe we'll talk about another one of these degenerates very soon. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.